Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Some applications of trigonometry. In this chapter, we will elaborate on finding heights and distances using trigonometric ratios. We have already studied about trigonometric ratios. In this chapter, we will study about some ways in which trigonometry can be used in the life around us. We will see how trigonometry is used for finding the heights and distances of various objects without actually measuring them. Say a student is looking at the top of the tower, then the line drawn from the eye of the student to the top of the tower is called line of sight and the angle so formed that is angle BAC is called the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the sight of the student. Hence we can say that line of sight is the line drawn from the eye of an observer to the point of the object viewed by the observer. And angle of elevation of the point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level that is the case when we raise our head to look at the object. In simple words, when we raise our head to see something which is taller than us or which is in the sky, the angle formed with the horizontal is angle of elevation. Now consider the situation that a student is on the balcony, is looking down at a ball. In this case, line of sight is below the horizontal level and the angle so formed by the line of sight with the horizontal is called angle of depression. In other words, angle of depression of a point on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point is below the horizontal level. That is the case when we lower our head to look at the point being viewed. Or simple words, when the object is viewed from a higher point, the angle formed with the horizontal is angle of depression. So now we can identify the lines of sight and, and the angle of elevation and angle of depressions. If we identify angle of elevation, we can get a right triangle where BC will be the height of the tower AC is the line of sight and AB is the distance between the student and the tower. Similarly for angle of depression we form a right triangle where QR denotes the height from which the student is watching the ball. PR is the line of sight and PQ is the is the horizontal distance between the student and the object. But did you notice that while taking angle of elevation or angle of depression, we have neglected the height of the student. Although we should have considered height of the student to find out exact height of the tower, say AE denotes height of the student then height of the tower will be given by BC plus BD 
now assuming that we know distance de or ab of the student from the tower angle of elevation angle a and height of the student that is ae or bd all in the same thing then we can use tan of a to find bc and then we can calculate bc plus bd to find the height of the tower we know that tan a is equal to opposite side by adjacent side but here opposite side is bc in triangle abc and adjacent side is ab we know ab and we know angle a so we can find bc or instead of tan a we can also use cot of a which is reciprocal of tan a cot a equal to ab by bc hence we can find bc from here also and hence find the height of the tower this gives us some idea of how trigonometric ratios can be used to find heights and distances let us take up some examples and understand further let us read the question a tower stands vertically on the ground from a point on the ground which is 15 meters away from the foot of the tower the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is found to be 60 degrees find the height of the tower let us start by drawing a simple diagram to represent the problem here let us represent the tower by ab now let point c be 15 meters away from the foot of the tower it is given that angle of elevation of the top of the tower from point c is 60 degrees we need to find height of the tower that is we have to find ab now clearly we can see that this is a right triangle and we can use one of our trigonometric ratios we have adjacent side and we have to find opposite side so clearly we can use tan of c which will be ab by bc which is same as tan 60 degree equal to ab by 15 since tan 60 is equal to root of 3 it is equal to ab by 15 this gives ab equal to 15 root 3 meters or in other words height of the tower is 15 root 3 meters 